candidates battling out in the Migori County Senate by election concluded their campaigns today, leaving matters to the voters and the IEBC for the poll set for Monday. Well, Stephen Leto is keeping a loose eye for us there and now joins us live. Stephen, it is now just hours to the ballot. Any emerging issues in Migori? Well, good evening to you, Victoria, there in studio. We are just a few kilometers from Lake Victoria. This is Migori County, particularly Suna East constituency. And it's all systems go ahead of the Monday by election for the senatorial seat that was left vacant upon the death of Ben Olwoch, the second senator for this particular county. And we witnessed yesterday the close of campaigns for all the five candidates who are going to square it out on Monday. The ODM flag bearer, Ochilo Ayako, former minister was campaigning last evening at the Migori Stadium accompanied by Raila Odinga and a host of members of parliament from the Orange Party and thereafter in the same venue Eddie Okech is closest challenger of the Federal Party of Kenya also campaigning the same venue both of them closing their, their day exuding confidence that they are going to emerge triumphant in the Monday by election but we uh, managed to speak to IEBC officials who are in Migori today Professor Abdi Gulie and Ruth Kulundu is the returning officer for this by-election on Monday and this is what they had to tell us earlier today. All preparations have been done according to the plans that we have set in place. Uh, all the trainings have been completed. Um, the deployments as you have heard will be beginning tomorrow late in the afternoon and uh, we have done all the arrangements that is necessary to ensure that we have a seamless election and we hope that uh, political parties, the contestants, agents will also cooperate with the commission to make We are just waiting for tomorrow to uh, give the peers the required materials uh, to gather the ballot papers and they go and prepare their polling, various polling stations. We have built up security in all areas. Uh, there are some areas where we think uh, they are they are more volatile, but we have taken actions and we have taken measures in those areas. There you have it, Victoria. The security agencies there are saying that, you know, they have mapped the hotspots, including Yatike, Uriri, Awendo, and Kuria West as parts that could possibly be of election, uh, you know, malpractice or violence uh, thereabout. And they have deployed efficiently. Two police officers will be manning every polling station come Monday. And there are about 826 polling stations dotted across all the eight constituencies in Migori County. And uh, one, one more thing is about the number of voters, 800 and, uh, 388,000 thereabout voters expected to take part in the Monday's by-election. This again coming as a litmus test for the Orange Party that is uh, perceived as a dominant party right here in Migori County and Odinga's influence still in the political arena. And of course, you know, this is a county that has been, be, uh, that, that has faced a lot of issues for the last one month that is uh, regarding the, uh, the, the case uh, surrounding Zakaria Okoth Obado. The governor for this particular area and by uh, the, the locals here say that they could be going to have a protest vote of why the Orange Party and ODM have not come in defense of the governor and so that is it uh, Victoria from uh, Migori County we will be coming uh, of course tomorrow with more uh, latest news from this area whereby there will be distribution of voting materials Victoria all right thanks for that Stephen